Okay, so the three big things that I got wrong in my van conversion. Number one is the bed. There was two points with this. Firstly, it wasn't long enough for me, which meant uncomfortable night's sleep. Ooh. I'm gonna need a coffee this morning. Not a good night's sleep. Secondly, a fixed bed in a van this size just takes up too much of your already limited space. So the second thing that I got wrong was keeping the bulkhead in. I initially did this for two reasons, to keep the noise out and to try and prevent some heat loss into the cab when we're staying in cold climates. After using the van for a bit, I realized I'd much rather have the convenience of being able to come straight into the accommodation area, slipping in between the, the drivers and passenger seats, rather than having to get out of the cab and walk around. There's multiple occasions where you just want to grab something from the fridge or you forgot to latch a cabinet and it's banging around, which means if you've got the bulkhead in, you've got to pull over and then walk, walk out and round to sort the problem out. Whereas if you haven't got the bulkhead there, you can just nip back and do what you need to do. So the third and final big thing that I got wrong in this van was the lack of a toilet. I went for a, a layout that could sleep up to four people, so I've got the fixed bed across the back and then a pull-out bed in the seating area here. I thought I'd rather have that so that we could have friends to stay in the van um, over a bathroom. The reality is the number of times that we've had people to stay over in the van is very few and far between. We ended up buying a port and just having it initially in the back of the van underneath the bed but then that's a pain because there's nowhere to really use it you then got to pull it out from underneath the fixed bed bring it in here eventually i ripped out the fixed bed at the back we just used the pull out bed in here and then the toilet was in the space at the back but um yeah 100 percent building a van this size you need to have a bathroom or at least um, a toilet that you can pull out so thanks for watching. If you found that video useful, please, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, there's going to be a ton of videos uh, coming out over the next few months as I refit this van and implement all of the lessons learned from first time round and hopefully build a much better, more usable van second time round. So stay tuned. Cheers, guys.